My name is Matt Shoulders, and I'm a faculty member in the MIT Department of Chemistry. My laboratory is interested in the question of how proteins fold in living cells. Now, proteins are the workhorses of biology. They basically carry out the chemistry that's required to sustain life. They create the molecular scaffolds on, on which life is based. And the enormous diversity of functions that proteins are able to carry out is really made possible by their ability to adopt dynamic yet well-defined three-dimensional shapes, which are what we call folds. What these folds do is they arrange chemical moieties spatially to promote particular important functions. Now, some proteins adopt very stable folds. Some proteins exist largely in an unfolded state and might only transiently adopt a specific arrangement, a specific fold to carry out some function. But the fact of the matter is that for virtually all proteins, the ability at some point to adopt a defined fold is essential for carrying out function. With tens of thousands of unique proteins present in the living cell, you can imagine not only the wide range of functional folds that can be adopted, but also the enormous potential for things to go wrong, given that these proteins are trying to fold in a concentrated cellular milieu packed with other biomolecules. Now, if proteins manage to fold properly, an organism is likely to be healthy, and if things go wrong, then you're likely to have disease. Proteins failing to fold is what we call protein misfolding. You can also have protein aggregation, where proteins adopt large aggregate structures that are non-functional. Now, indeed, many of the most important diseases in modern times are connected to failures of protein folding. So, things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, the thousands of loss of function genetic disorders, things like osteogenesis imperfecta and cystic fibrosis, and even diseases like cancer and viral infections. Maintaining proteostasis, meaning the proper three-dimensional structure and concentrations of proteins, is therefore a fundamental biological need. And to address this need, evolution has evolved a vast network of up to a thousand different factors known as the proteostasis network, that work to solve this problem in mammals. My lab's goal is to understand how this system functions at the molecular level to solve protein folding problems. In pursuit of this objective, my lab develops and applies new chemical biology methods to perturb, using small molecules, the proteostasis network, both at the level of central hubs and individual nodes. Then, we take the methods that we've developed and apply them to pro-proteostasis network function to better understand how proteostasis is maintained in organisms, in individual cells, and in subcellular compartments. Next, we take what we've learned and apply it to understand at the molecular level how complex protein folding problems are solved for specific client proteins, such as collagen, the most abundant protein in your body. Finally, we take what we've learned and apply it to discover new methods to potentially ameliorate disease by improving protein folding. This research is made possible by an incredibly talented and dedicated team of postdocs, graduate students, undergraduates, and also high schoolers who lead the projects in my laboratory. We're very grateful to the Dreyfus Foundation as well as many other funding agencies that also support these lines of research.